In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Rethod, the mod of Tony Hawk's American Wasteland for PC. Here we have Rethod.com. This is the site you need to go to to download the actual mod itself. You need to have Tony Hawk's American Wasteland some way or another, but it's, it's got to be the PC port, not the Xbox 360, Xbox, PS2, no console. But once you have the PC version, no matter what way you get it, I'm not here making your choices. Get it however you want. Once you have that game installed, you go ahead and go to rethought.com, search it up on Google, go to rethought.com, and then go to download. I don't know if it's on Mac or Linux, but what you can do for if you have Windows, press the download here, and then just download it. Once the installer has finished downloading onto your computer, you can go ahead and open it. This will probably pop up if you have Windows Defender going. I trust it personally. Take your own judgment and just, you know, trust your instinct. For me, I trust it because I know Uzi's, Zedek, Drake, and a lot of the others already. So I trust that they would make something that is not harmful for, for my PC. And I have not seen anything harmful and I have played this game for a long time. So I'm gonna go ahead and press more info and I'm gonna press run anyway. Once you have that done, you can go ahead and press okay to find your Tony Hawk's American Wasteland folder. I already have this mod downloaded, but I put another Tony Hawk's American Wasteland folder with the game and another folder. So I'm just gonna go ahead and find Tony Hawk's American Wasteland, which is Thaw or Tony Hawk's American Wasteland, whichever folder may look like or say, and then go to game, select game and press okay. This is another part where you're going to have to use your own judgment. Like I said, I trust the game fully. I trust the devs. A lot of you might have to turn off Windows Defender for this or whatever antivirus thing you have going on. For me, I trust it fully. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off Windows Defender. And again, this is all up to you because I'm not here to change what you feel. If you feel safe to do this, Go ahead to do this. As of right now, this is the way to do it. I don't know if they are working on trying to make this not be like this, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Okay, I'm back here. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. There's still the error and it's due to me. It's not something that's gonna happen unless you have an incorrect uh, Tornox American Wasteland as in if you're missing files or whatever. I have two versions of or two folders of it one i'm sure this one is missing some stuff because i have i've downloaded it twice and i don't know i'm gonna press ok from here and then from here you're gonna have to browse to find your tony Hawk's american wasteland exe so right this is the actual rethought i have installed that actually works okay here i am at my other folder with american wasteland I, pre I double tap it or, you know, whatever. I, I select it. Then I press yes because it is correct. And then it's going to do this whole thing of trying to download the whole thing. It will look exactly like this where it's downloading the whole mod. But as I already have it installed, I'm going to I'm going to quit this because I already have it installed. There you go. You do have the game installed. Now, let me launch it up to show you some things. When you open the launcher, you're going to want to do a few things before you go into the game. First of all, you're going to want to go to input and make sure your settings are however you want it. Uh, whatever feels comfortable for you. I'm most comfortable with the default settings in like in most of the games. It's uh, done a little bit differently on, on Tony Hawk's American Wasteland, but I set it to however I want and you can change some things in here, but a lot of these things you'll be able to do except for, I think, graphics. Now, set the graphics however you want. When you launch the game, you're going to get a, a few settings for setting up the actual game. Uh, this is when you launch Rethought, not, um, not Thaw, not American Wasteland, the mod of it. And so once you get those settings all sorted out, you can just have fun with the game. Go to classic mode, story, free skate, online, create something. Just do whatever you want. I'm going to just show you. There's a few things I've showed already in the other video I've made of this already. And I'm right now playing on my keyboard. I usually am playing with my with my controller, but you can do both. It allows uh, 
It allows you to play with uh, DualSense controllers, so PS5 controllers, PS4, Xbox controllers. It allows all of those. And yes, you are hearing a vine boom. Yes, I have set my, my special trick sound to a vine boom because that is a setting you can enable. If you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to ask them in the comments, but I won't be able to ask every or answer, well, I'm sure, a lot of it. So go ahead and go to the Rethought server. It's actually called 10K Rising. That's the name of the Discord server. It's the, it's the, it's the group that made this mod. I hope this was helpful. If it wasn't, I'm sorry. Uh, I tried my best, okay? Yeah, my name is Vex. I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. I hope this helped. Like, comment, subscribe, and stay goaded.